Motivation low, no training partners, no excuses. When training alone, setting clear goals is crucial, but it's not just about the goals themselves. It is about falling in love with the process, because without embracing the journey, reaching those goals becomes nearly impossible. So lace up, focus on the process, and let the passion for the process drive you towards your goals. You might train alone, but you never train lonely. Let's dive right into it. Number one, the ball. To train on your own effectively, treat the football as your closest friend. Begin by mastering basic ball control techniques such as dribbling, passing, and shooting. Incorporate drills that challenges your agility, speed, and decision-making skills, making the ball your ultimate training partner in your quest for improvement. Wherever you go, the ball is there. Easy to carry with you anywhere. Oh yes, the ball is there. Number two, the wall. Elevate your football skills while training alone. Utilize a wall as your second best friend. Practice passing, receiving, and shooting by repeatedly striking the ball against the wall, focusing on the accuracy and control. Incorporate variations such as volleys and different ways to receive the ball to stimulate the game-like scenarios and improve your overall technique. Number three, the goal. Consider the goal as your third best friend. Utilize it for shooting practice, aiming for different areas of the goal to enhance accuracy and power. Set up drills that involves dribbling towards the net, stimulating one-on-one -on -one situations with the keeper. And sometimes, you might even get lucky and have all your best three friends with you on the field at the same time. 